thanks for joining us. Uh, Maddie and Harley, again, you guys have been champions getting on these calls this summer in a couple of weeks. Oh, hi, Caleb. Yay, hi. Caleb's with us too. Awesome. We're going to just talk each two weeks, you know, we've been talking about just different uh, subjects, different topics that we think would be great for incoming students. And we're using, of course, uh, current students or, cur or students who have um, maybe graduated not that long ago and have insight for you guys. And so tonight's topic is going to be kind of centering around internships and work study. I think sometimes we have students that might not even know what work study is or what that means. I think it's important for you to know that. And I'm really going to turn things over to Chris Ford. He'll introduce himself and um, let him moderate because he's had a lot of students work for him in his office. And so he has put together a couple of panelists who are going to share with you kind of these things that we've just mentioned. And we just want to leave it wide open for questions too. And even if you guys have questions outside of internships and work study, now's the time to ask. We'd love to do that. I want to make this time valuable that we have together. So uh, thanks for joining us. And Chris, why don't you go ahead and just, you know, take over and just facilitate for us and lead us in this conversation tonight. All right. Well, uh, my name is Chris Ford, and uh, I am currently the coordinator of marketing and public information at Lincoln Trail College. And actually, last week, I got a promotion. So as of July 1st, I will be the director of marketing for Illinois nice. Eastern Community Colleges, as well as the coordinator of marketing for Lincoln Trail College. Well, and congratulations. Thank Yay. you. Thank you. Excited about the opportunity and uh, excited about uh, tonight as well. Um, you know, I think one of the great things about Lincoln Trail College is you get a lot of great opportunities to get some good experience. And uh, so we've got Cameron Ireland, who uh, was a work study for me and also an intern with me. I uh, actually got paid to work with me uh, at one point. And then uh, also uh, joining us, and we're doing something a little different tonight, Brady Clampett, who worked with me. Uh, we recorded him a little bit earlier, and then Hannah Dean, who uh, was on here and then just briefly disappeared, uh, and hopefully she will be back shortly. Um, she has a really cool internship experience where uh, she was actually doing an internship with Disney, uh, it, with uh, part of the Disney University program. So uh, she'll talk a little bit about her experiences as well, and uh, there she's back. Um, so, uh, just to kind of start off, uh, Cameron, if you want to introduce yourself, uh, tell everybody, uh, your name and where you're at and what you're doing now. So, yeah, uh, I'm Cameron Ireland and I was, uh, Chris's work study and intern for a couple of years when I went to LTC and right now I'm going to the university of Illinois. I'm a senior editor for the daily Illini there. So. I'll like do graphic designs for the school paper and online stuff. And then I'm also uh, looking to be a creative director for this internship for, uh, I think it's another pharmaceutical company in uh, Champaign-Urbana this fall too. Awesome. And uh, Hannah, if you want to introduce yourself as well. All right. I am Hannah Dean. Um, I graduated from LTC in May and I am looking to transfer to the University of Central Florida in the fall to finish my degree in elementary education. And uh, Hannah, I'm gonna start with you because uh, you had a really cool opportunity here lined up this spring. Unfortunately, with everything that happened this year, it didn't all work out exactly, but you were doing an internship uh, down at Disney World. Yes. Yes, I got to go down and work. Um, it was supposed to be for four months, but it got cut short, two months short. So, um, but I got to work and learn from the Disney company and um, yeah, it was awesome. So talk a little bit about the, the kinds of things that you did down there. I worked in food and beverage. And so I worked at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Um, that was kind of like where I was for the majority of my program. Um, and I just worked at kind of like all the outdoor stands around um, the Asia part, the Asia section of the park. What was that experience like? I mean, it's Disney, so obviously that's got to be just amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, I learned so much. Um, like I've always known a lot about Disney, but getting to kind of learn about like all the backstage magic and 
what makes Disney run. Like they have four keys. And so getting to learn just everything that Disney does is based on those four things. And it was awesome to be able to see it in action and then also get to partake in the magic and make magic for other people. Hey, Anna, can I ask a question? Um, I, I have a niece who did two back-to-back internships at Disney and she was going to a school in Indiana when she left to go down there. Now she lives there and actually is trying to get a full-time job at Disney since she graduated. She loved it. But I remember her going through that process and, you know, going through the paperwork and the interview process for the internship. Could you share with Maddie and Caleb and Harley, how did you even find out about that? Or how did that come to be where you thought, hey, I'm going to go do a Disney internship? Like, how did that even, how did, how did you become aware of it? She stumped. I think she froze on us. There she oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. I've known several students who have done those Disney internships in all different areas. And like my niece, it really broadened her resume. And um, she graduated and went down again for something called a PI professional internship. And that really is to prep someone to go to work there full time. And so she learned about that while she was in college and decided to look into it. And she went for it, applied and got it. And now she's, she lives down there. So it's a great opportunity. Here. Hi, Hannah. Sorry, my Wi-Fi keeps going out. <laughs> so, uh, Tana, if you want to ask your question again. Yes. Yeah, so how did, um, I, was, I was saying that my niece has done a couple of internships. I've known a lot of other students, too. But how did you come to know about that? Or well, here you are, a student, going to Lincoln Trail, and one day you just are in, you know, Florida doing a Disney internship. How did you get from being a student at LTC to being in Florida as an intern? Yeah, I um, like have grown up going to Disney and um, loving everything that they put out and stuff. And so I had known about the program, but I just didn't think that it was really in my plan to be able to do it. And like, I knew I would love to work for Disney someday, but didn't know how and then going into my freshman year, whenever we had my advising meeting, I found out that it was only going to be a year and a half that I would have to take classes at LTC to my associates. And so it just kind of like fell into place that I would be able to take a semester and do that internship. And I had applied for the fall and then was going to come back and finish up at LTC in the spring but I didn't get in the first time. And so then it just got transferred to the spring, which worked out better anyways, but. Awesome. Were there many other community college interns that were down there when you were there? Yeah. Um, three of my roommates actually were community college interns. Um, and I knew a lot of other ones too. Um, I feel like that's kind of a good place to be able to do it. Cause you don't have to take time away from like university stuff, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. Cool. Well, we'll come back to you uh, and ask you a few more questions here as we come on. Um, but Cameron, I want to talk to you a little bit about your experience. So uh, you, you start off as a work study in my office, and then you eventually transitioned into actually a paid part-time employee for me. Yeah, so initially, when I started working for you, um, I think there's like a power limit with the work study or there's something going on with that. And I did that for, I'd say probably a semester, semester and a half, and then kind of transitioned into the, the intern thing. I think uh, like summer 20, summer 2018, summer 2019, something like that, where I would actually be able to work in the summers at LTC and help Chris out with uh, just setting stuff up around the campus, working on some, just probably, just bigger projects in the summer with a little bit less of an intensive time frame, And then whenever the school year started back up, then I would just kind of go to the games, take pictures, film videos, and then work on the promotional projects, work on advertisements, um, and just honestly a whole bunch of stuff. And it's helped me out a ton. So, you know, that, that's one of the things I want to ask you. And when we talk to Brady here in a little bit, asked him the same thing is talk a little bit about how that has helped you uh, as you've transitioned there to the University of Illinois. Yeah, I'd say one of the, the biggest takeaways from uh, doing the work study and the internships with you is probably learning to work with deadlines. And because um, I know a lot of people um, at the Daily Line, I especially 
just couldn't manage their time and they didn't know how to really balance school and then creating graphics or working on the structuring of the paper and all that stuff. So whenever I came in, uh, they noticed literally almost immediately that I could handle doing four or five graphics a week on top of structuring it. So then they actually approached me and asked if I wanted to do the senior editor position. And I mean, the senior editor, honestly, it's just more or less some good to put on your resume. You have a little bit more of a workload, but it's kind of a good leadership role. And I think that by working with you and going to LDC, it prepared me for that and it prepared me to be able to accept the responsibility of taking a, a larger leadership role pretty much immediately in an extracurricular at a much bigger university. Well, and something else I want to talk to you about, and again, we'll, we'll talk to Brady about this a little bit. Not only have you guys done some things, uh, you know, college-wise using this, but you guys have also taken what you did at Lincoln Trail College, what you did in, in my office, and you're using that in the community with Randy's Court. Talk about that whole project. Oh, yeah, the, the Randy's Court project, um, I think – me and Brady, honestly, we might've been talking about it one time in your office and we were just trying to find a way that we can make a positive impact in the community and kind of set up like a, I guess, more or less a tradition or something that just can bring the community together and bring the community together through basketball. And we, we had all, we could kind of gotten some of the business concepts and stuff just from watching you do stuff and how Lincoln Trail does it. And even just from that aspect, but also a connections aspect of just knowing who to talk to and how to get everything set up. And yeah, we wanted to just create something that would bring community together and make a positive impact. And I think uh, so far, Brandy's Court has gotten grown every, I mean, it's been growing every month. Website traffic's been really good. And I just think it's a great thing for the community. Absolutely. So uh, with that, I think what I'm going to do is uh, bring Brady on here and uh, We'll have him, uh, his interview that, that he did with us uh, a little bit earlier. So if you guys want to sit back and kind of relax and uh, enjoy this. All right. Well, we've got uh, Brady Clampett joining us now. And uh, Brady was unable to join us live this evening, but we did go ahead and uh, talk with him a little bit earlier today. And uh, Brady, you graduated from LTC last year and you are at Indiana State now. And uh, just first of all, talk a little bit about that, that transition from Lincoln Trail College to Indiana State, and what, what, what that was like. So... At Indiana State, obviously, the classes are going to be a little bit bigger. But uh, with everything going, like at LTC, I feel like you get more one-on-one -on -one and it kind of prepares you for the bigger stuff, you know what I mean? And so after now, I'm more comfortable. But at the start of it, I was a little like, uh, I don't know. But like being at LTC helped me with my communication skills for sure because being in such little classrooms, you have to talk to everybody. So when a professor calls on me at ISU, I'm like, oh, I can talk. I'm good. <laughs> well, one of the things that, that you got to do when you were at Lincoln Trail College, uh, you, you did both uh, a work-study position uh, that happened to be in, in my office, the marketing office. And then you also did an internship as a part of the sport management program. And uh, let's start off first with that, that internship. And... Talk a little bit about that. You helped out with the floor hockey program at Lincoln Grade School. So originally, I was uh, not—I was—I wasn't actually interested. But uh, now that I say that, I mean I'm so glad that I did it. Uh, Tyler Browning actually uh, talked me into it, and I already knew everyone that was included because I'm from Robinson and everything. So it actually turned out to be a blast. Uh, me and Parrish Hutchins every day would go to Lincoln grade school and we would help set up. And it was honestly just awesome. I didn't really honestly even know that much about hockey to start it. And then we moved into it and everything. And I mean, I learned the rules just like the kids do. We would go in there and I would help the kids get ready. I would clean everything. That was the worst part because those kids would get really sweaty. But uh, other than that, I mean, it was just awesome. We would help plan schedules. We, w we did stuff for next year. Well, it would have been this year, but you know how that went but uh and then uh everything just with that it was just awesome because I mean it got me experience in the field and it showed me like that what what sport management it can like extend to so many different things and so that internship opened my eyes a little bit 
I know when when you and I talked, when you were working in the office, one of the things that, that you talked about a little bit was, uh, you know, facility management and that sort of thing. And I mean, really, a lot of what you did in that program relates to that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, cleaning every day and then I mean, getting the equipment ready, making sure the floor is ready for the kids to be able to play on. And I mean, that even ranges to, I mean, the audio that we would do for the games and everything like that. They just prepared. I mean, that definitely, it's crazy to think that like just uh, such a like unknown thing, like is something that can help people. Like, it's just insane. Like there's so much going on, like in Robinson that people don't think of for sport management. You know what I mean? And like, it's everywhere. So I, I want to talk a little bit, too, about uh, the, the opportunities that you had in my office working in marketing. And we we had a chance to uh, do a little bit of everything in there. So you got a chance to, uh, you know, see what it was like to get out in the field, do athletic stuff. But you also also had a chance to uh, learn a little bit about college marketing, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot that goes into your job. It's kind of crazy. Like there would be days that we would be everywhere, everywhere. Uh, I mean, I, I enjoyed, I still tell everybody that I enjoyed being in your work study program. I mean, me, Cameron, and then the Heath is the one who actually talked to me into doing it. And, uh, I'm so happy I did, uh, with doing all the picture taking, that's what I loved. I loved going to the sporting events, making sure that they were covered and stuff like that. That was awesome. And then, uh, just like seeing the marketing aspect of like what you have to do and stuff like that is just insane. And like what you do for the college, it's just insane. And I, I'm very grateful for that, for sure. So talk a little bit about how you feel the, the opportunities, both in my office and then in your internship, how you feel that that has prepared you, first of all, uh, for your next step at ISU, and then also for uh, down the road when you start a career. Well, it's prepared me to, I mean, when I first started, I was like a nervous kid that could barely like talk and then like I mean I've always been able to talk but like I can like just like talk to anybody now just because like I would have to interview people for you stuff like that and uh I just feel like it's opened me up so much like even the internship because I mean working with kids I mean the kids weren't always uh saints like good like you know and so like you had to make sure to keep them together you had to uh do all that and it just like it opened me up more you know what i mean and i mean as a like in the field like it opened my eyes like definitely like there are so many more things that i can do with this and i'm honestly thinking about like we've talked about um an internship actually back at ltc and I think that would be awesome just because, I mean, I loved doing what I did the first time. And I mean, I can even do even more this time, you know. Well, one of the other things I want to talk to you about a little bit, and uh, I didn't throw this one at you initially, but I'm looking at your hat. And uh, you guys have uh, really taken some of the things that, that you've learned uh, in the sport management program, in my office, and, and you've put that to work uh, at a charity basketball tournament here in Robinson. Talk about that. Uh, I mean, thank you for the plug, actually. Um, uh, We've started a nonprofit organization in uh, Robinson. Uh, we did, first year we donated to the soup kitchen. We would go around to all the businesses and ask for donation sponsorships. And uh, that, that was interesting the first year. I was just the nervous kid, like I said. And like now that we're doing it this year, for, uh, we're giving away two $1,000 scholarships to high school seniors. And uh, the way, I mean, with the marketing everything that I learned in sport management and then with you and like it's, it's just insane how like we turned those tools because we actually created the idea like like what we would do and stuff like that in your office and that's crazy to think that we did that and uh it's just amazing how much it's blown up and I mean it is successful like I it's crazy to think that we're we're doing this in little old Robinson and it's, it's definitely been successful and we're excited for a uh, year two this year, uh, July 18th, sign up now, Randy's court, 3v3.org. 
<laughs> so one last question for you, Brady. Um, what advice would you give to a student that is beginning their time here at Lincoln Trail College, just dipping their foot for the first time into work study or thinking about an internship? What advice would you give them as they start that? Um, well, I mean, first of all, don't be scared. I mean, I was, I was nervous going in, but I mean, it opened up so many things for me, like I've said, and, uh, don't be afraid to take a risk. Uh, I mean, everyone at LTC is going to help you. I mean, there, nobody's afraid to say, Hey, do you need help? Do you want help with this? I mean, it's crazy to think like Lincoln Trail College compared to ISU. And I'm not hitting on ISU or anything, but like the people at Lincoln Trail College want to help you. And it's awesome. And I'm, I, I'm so grateful for my time at Lincoln Trail. And I mean, I wish it was a four year. <laughs> Brady, thank you for joining us today. No problem. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, so, uh, you know, one of the questions that I, that I asked Brady, and I'll start with you, Hannah, is what advice would you give somebody that is getting ready to start their first internship? Yeah, I would say, like, go into it with such an open mind. Like, going into mine, with it being at Disney, I really thought that it was going to be, like, oh, I get to go into the parks for free on my days off and it's going to be great and yada, yada, yada. Like all the fun stuff with a little bit of work, but it was so much more of like working and then getting to go to the parks, um, which I learned so much more working and just having an open mind about it. Like there were days that I thought that work was going to go a certain way and it didn't, but those ended up being the days that I remember the most. And some of like my favorite memories from work come from those days that were the unexpected. And Cameron, same question for you. Uh, yeah, I'd say, um, at least for me with my internships, try to do something, especially at LTC or a smaller school, even if you're remotely interested in something, I would say go for a work study, go for an internship, because number one, you'll learn a lot of what you're interested in, but then you'll also learn just people skills and just, just general stuff, general leadership type skills mm -hmm. through that. And I know um, like in Brady's case, he really didn't know much about computers or graphic design or anything, but he still took the chance and uh, did the internship with you. And he ended up learning some more about that stuff, learning how marketing works and kind of learning more than just going there to take pictures. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, he, he mentioned uh, Heath, Heath Sorrells, who is my very first work study, worked with me for two years. And when he originally came to Lincoln Trail College, he started off as a process technology major, then changed, changed his major, and now he is working full-time at Mag Graphics as a graphics designer. Mm. And, uh, you know, that was something that, you know, that internship kind of helped change his trajectory on what he wanted to do, which is, you know, something that is not at all unusual for an internship. Mm -hmm. um, Hannah... I Oh, go ahead. I, I wanted to say something really quick, Chris, about just work study. I know we keep throwing that term around. So Harley, Maddie and Caleb, um, sometimes you'll see in the hallway as you're walking, you know, through Lincoln Trail, Williams Hall, maybe a sign that says certain areas of the college are looking for a work study student. And that just simply means a student worker job. And so in our office, I know we have Kenzie Chapman, who was supposed to be on the call tonight and she's still at work. She uh, had to stay late. But she's actually pursuing her associate's degree in office management and those kinds of areas. So working in our office is just hands-on learning. It's on-the-job training, which makes her resume even more robust. It gives her an opportunity to take what she's learning in class and apply it at work. And I know another student who's been on the calls with us before, Macy, works in the bookstore. And for someone who's looking at going into business, students in the bookstore get to help with you know, inventory and expenditures and revenue and just all those things. So looking for a student worker position on campus can really be beneficial if there is an opening, you know, that will fit you. And so internships are fantastic. Student worker positions and work study opportunities are fantastic. And so anytime there's something like that open and available, that would be, you know, very good for you to look into but or like Chris mentioned if there's an area that you don't really know yet if you're interested in it or not 
Uh, Jamie Carmen, who was one of our advisors, tells the story that when she was in college, she just volunteered to help at a local school, fell in love with the students, and from that got a job at the high school in Robinson and absolutely loves her job at Lincoln Trail now, assisting with students and being the retention coordinator. And she said that all started because of the job that she took on while she was in college. And so, you know, I just want to encourage you to be looking at those opportunities and looking for opportunities to, you know, get involved in those ways, like Cameron and Hannah and Brady have, have talked about. Yeah, and I think, you know, kind of dovetailing off that, one of the things that our financial aid office does a really good job doing uh, when they go through the, the beginning process of setting up work studies, they do a really good job of uh, trying to match people with their career interests or major interests. So that way they get the most out of that work study opportunity because we, we want people to, you know, be able to use that as something that, that will be a good springboard for them professionally. Yes. And uh, so, Hannah, one of the questions that I want to have uh, ask you is, how do you feel that the uh, Disney internship has prepared you for your future? Um, it actually, like, completely changed my plan. Um, I've always been the type that, like, thought I was going to go to LTC for two years, transfer to a four-year, finish my degree, and start teaching. Like, that was my plan. And so doing the Disney internship was never in that original plan. And then now I never would have guessed that I was going to transfer to UCF in Florida. And I've learned about a program that Disney offers that helps pay for your schooling. And so I'm not going to go into, I might have to take out student loans and stuff. And so it's just completely changed. It hasn't changed my major. Like I still want to go into teaching, but just my plan and like living in Florida and stuff that was never part of what I thought, but it just completely changed, um, my outlook on life. And like, kind of like what I was saying earlier, like going with an open mind, like I wouldn't have thought that until I kind of let myself realize like, that's okay. I can do that. I can change my plan. Awesome. And Cam Cameron, how do you think it's prepared you? Uh, I think it's definitely, I know whenever I first went to U of I and just within my classes and everything, um, obviously I was nervous and stuff because it was such a large school, but at the same time, I felt like I had a really good base underneath me from my internships and from my work studies and the work studies in a way, originally I wanted to just go into regular, just business degree. And after uh, working with sports and everything, it made me want to kind of focus more on like a sports marketing type of route. And I think the work study definitely just kind of opened my eyes to just how refined you can go and how specific you can get with a job. If, if you like to do something, odds are there's a job for that and there's a degree that offers that. So I think it, definitely prepared me really well and just kind of cemented what I really wanted to do after I graduated. Well, I think one of the things too that, you know, you experience Cameron especially is, you know, you get, you get the opportunity to get some really good networking in, uh, you know, with this position. And, you know, I know my office, I deal with the, the president very, very regularly, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Gower and I, uh, you know, we're, we're very close, uh, you know, in, in contact all the time. And you got to experience some of that. And uh, that, that also helped open some doors for you at the U of I as well. Oh, big time. I know uh, one of uh, Dr. Gower's uh, former uh, colleagues, uh, Dr. Raycraft, I actually was introduced to him during a visit, which was also an amazing thing was uh, I did a little visit to the college, um, University of Illinois, while you and Ryan were out looking at stuff. And that had the, I had this whole day planned out where I was able to visit the school, meet the faculty, ask them questions, kind of go around and look at everything beforehand. And I think within the networking of knowing all that, it really just kind of showed me who the staff is and just all that stuff. And I know with Dr. Raycraft, especially um, in all of his classes and stuff due to uh, Dr. Gower and everything, I'm really close with him. Um, and it's just, it's just definitely helped make more connections with uh, the professors because in a school that big, uh, especially it's really important to make sure you talk to your professors, make sure you sit in the front and ask questions because those are the, those are the people just with networking in general, that there's so many doors that they can open up for you. And it's so crucial to just make those connections now, as opposed to scrambling to try to find one later. Yes. Yeah. And Hannah, it sounds like you've also 
maybe had some experience already with some, some networking too, just in discovering, you know, the, the different programs down there in Florida. Yeah, it's awesome. Like going into my program, um, like the biggest piece of advice I feel like people give you is like to network and that kind of stuff. And unfortunately I didn't get as much time to do that as I wanted to, but just getting to talk with like my leaders and my coordinators about how they got started with the company and where they are now. And, um, like Disney's kind of motto for their cast members is just like anything is possible and you can go anywhere. You can do anything. Like there are so many opportunities within the Disney company. And so just getting to like imagine and kind of broaden my knowledge on where this could lead me in the future and that kind of stuff was incredible. I'm assuming too, Hannah, you probably have new friends now from all over the world, literally, right? Definitely. My next door neighbors were from New Zealand. Yeah. So yeah, it's very cool. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. Uh, UCF is a wonderful school and they have a great college of education. And so I'm very thrilled to hear that you're going there. Yes. Hey. So. Hey, yeah, I was going to say, Caleb, Maddie, and Harley, any questions or anything kind of um, sparking an interest in you for maybe looking into internships or, you know, work study or something like that? Any any questions that you want to ask Cameron or Hannah or, or any of us? Or have you thought about this before? Like, I mean, are you just kind of thinking, okay, I've got my schedules made. I'm, you know, going to, going to take classes at Lincoln Trail. You're kind of set, but to kind of broaden your thinking a little bit, are these things that, you know, if you haven't thought about before, maybe are you going to think about them now? Just hearing Cameron and, and Hannah and Brady talk about that? You know, I haven't really thought about it before, but I think now I'm, I'm really going to start taking it into consideration. Yeah, I know, Caleb, you've done a really great job of coming out several times to the college, talking to different people in different departments shadowing somebody broadband, looking at sports management. So you've done a great deal of exploring and trying to figure things out. And so an internship, I think like Cameron and Brady have talked about kind of broadened their, you know, their views of uh, and help them see the other things that were out there. And so I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Harley, what about you? Yeah, I definitely like it opens up a lot of things like going to college. Like you'll have like books and stuff, like your classes and stuff, but I feel like it gives you more opportunities like on what to do. Absolutely. Right. And, and Maddie, I mean, I know kind of you've pretty much had your heart set on the path that you're going on. And I think there are probably opportunities that you could look into and maybe helping with pathways to medicine or just some of those other programs that we have that would, you know, increase your vision a little bit and add to your resume and help you network too. So there's opportunities for all three of you, uh, you know, just around the corner for sure. Well, and uh, before we wrap up, I'll kind of tell my own little internship story as well. Um, I, I think uh, Cameron, you've probably heard this before. Uh, so when I went to college, I went to DePaul, and I was very, very committed to uh, being a broadcaster. And what I really wanted to do was work for ESPN. TV is really what I wanted to do. Uh, so I, I knew that I was going to have to kind of earn my way there in college before I could get on TV and do things. So I started off at the radio station. And my junior year at DePaul, basically everybody would go off campus their junior year and study a semester somewhere. Most of us did it in the spring, and that's that's when I did mine. So I went into a program at Washington, D.C., and I decided I was going to work for a TV station there. And it was a great experience, made some really good connections. But it also, for me, uh, was the, the opportunity to find out that TV wasn't my passion as much as radio. So, you know, again, kind of talking about how an internship can – help change your trajectory and, you know, do, you know, make things a little bit different. So I decided I wanted to be fully committed to radio after that. Uh, I spent 15 years in radio before I came out to work for Lincoln Trail College uh, and, you know, was super happy with that. So, you know, that's one of the other great things about an internship is it's kind of a, a try it before you buy it with your career. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the other thing with it is, 
with an internship, with a work study opportunity, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. And that has been a recurring theme with every one of these uh, Zoom get togethers that we've done so far. And this is no different. Uh, you know, the, the harder you work, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it, the more opportunities you're going to get. And, uh, you know, the, the better your networking opportunities, uh, you know, Cameron, Brady, Heath, all of those guys know that I will always be a reference for them. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to be somebody that's going to, you know, do what I can to help them get a job somewhere in the future or you know, get into grad school or whatever it is with their ambition. And, you know, those are some of the connections that you can make with that work study opportunity, with that internship opportunity, and, you know, definitely take full advantage when you can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Hannah, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for being on. Cameron, I'm excited for uh -huh. you. And um, Harley, Maddie, Caleb, you know you can get a hold of me anytime if you have questions or need anything. Um, Chris, did you have anything else before we go tonight? Uh, you know, I, I think that's everything. You know, again, um, you know, work study opportunities. If if you want to learn more about those, uh, you know, just get in touch with our financial aid office. They will be happy to get you set up and, you know, help you through that process, whatever you need to, to get done. Um, you know, keep in mind that some work study positions are, are more highly in demand than others, and they are on a first come first serve basis. So if you are thinking about work study, it's, it's good to get in line on that right away. But again, don't discount the opportunity about, you know, volunteering or, or job shadowing or something like that, uh, because that may turn into something else down the road. Definitely. Yeah. Good. You guys have anything else? And then, I don't know, kind of with the work study thing, if you are able to get it um, and get accepted into it, if you look at it, like if you're doing work study with something that you're interested in, and you're also getting paid, like, especially if you want a part-time job or anything while you're here, you don't have to worry about rushing from your classes to go somewhere to work. Don't have to worry about missing a class or anything like that. You could go to a class and if you have a 50 minute gap or something, you can go work study for a little bit and log that. And then you can just kind of do that up to like 20 hours. So on top of you getting really good firsthand experience in something you're interested in, you're also able to, uh, just get paid and stuff on top of that too. And it works completely with your schedule. Like there's zero stress about that. Yes, that's a great point to make. And I know a lot of students like that about their work study jobs. They can just stay right on campus and work and it does reduce the stress and the hassle of having to be a lot of different places during one day. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, Chris, thanks a lot for facilitating this and, and recording Brady's video earlier today. And Hannah, thanks again for being on here. Like I said, good luck to you as you thank get you. Out your new chapter and Cameron, you too. And Matt, and like Caleb, and Harley, I hope in two weeks we're going to do another uh, virtual panel and you'll see that being advertised shortly. And make sure you watch the video that Chris posted today that's uh, talking about orientation this fall. We're going to be doing that a little differently and it's going to be online as opposed to face-to-face -face like we typically do it. So, and let me know if you have any questions about that too, if you watch the video, okay? So thanks everybody for being on here and have a great rest of the week. And I look forward to seeing you all back in a couple of weeks on our next channel, okay? Thank right. you. Thanks. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you for having me.